Today we'll discuss about comparison between HDD and SSD. This is this image shows the basic image of HDD and SSD. HDD stands for hard disk drive. SSD stands for solid state drive. In this video, I'm trying to be as basic as I can so that everyone can understand the difference between HDD and SSD. There are many interface or the connectors available for HDD and SSD. The common interface types are IDE, SATA and SCSI. IDE stands for Integrated Drive Electronics. SATA stands for Serial ATA, Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, SCSI, Small Computer System Interface. All these inter interface depends on the speed of the hard disk. If you want a detailed video on the speed comparison between IDE, SATA, SCSI and other interface types, please comment below. I will try to add in my later videos. Let us see what is a hard disk drive. An hard disk HDD consists of a spinning disk platter coated with the magnetic material. Spinning disk spins at 7200 RPMs and the read write head that reads and writes data on disk surface. The read write head moves back and forth across the spinning disk to access different parts of data stored on the disk. Let us see how a hard disk looks from inside. A hard disk has a spindle which holds the disk and which used to rotate the disk. This is the disk. This is the data. Data are saved in zeros and ones. This is the actuator which holds the read write head. This read write head writes the data on the disk. This is the arm which holds the read write head. This is the circuit board. This is the power port, data cable port, which I said earlier, the interface cables, IDE or SATA or SCSI. Now let us discuss the features of hard disk. Hard disk is offered a high storage capacity with some models capable of storing up to 16 TB of data. I will explain. This 16 TB data nowadays has gone to 32 TB of data. HDDs are generally less expensive than SSD, making them more cost effective option for storing large amount of data. HDDs are physically large and heavier than SSDs, making them less suitable for portable devices. HDDs are slow than SSDs when it comes to data access and transfer speed. HDDs contains mechanical details that can wear out over time makes them less vulnerable, less durable than SSDs. But practically, SDDs are more reliable than SSDs and longevity of SDDs are more than SSDs in practical. Advantages of SSD, HDD. SDD is also cheaper per GB comparing to SSD, which is a good cost effective storage of large amount of data. SDDs are available in high capacity. A lot of floppy disks are available, making them ideal for application by people who require large store storage facilities such as multimedia. SDD floppy disks are now not available in the market. When floppy disk was available, that can hold up to 1.44 MB of data. Now floppy disks are no more available. SDD has a relative long history of usage and it is why it's widely supported by the majority of devices. Disadvantages of SDDs Due to mechanical design of the actuator have relatively low input-output I.O. data rates in comparison to SSDs. As compared to SSDs, SDDs have higher chance of getting damage due to physical shocks or drops. This is because they have moving parts. You accidentally drops the SDD, there are chances that SDD can go bad. If you want to use the SDD for a long period of time, avoid accidental drops and shakes as the head, the writing head can damage easily. But it's more reliable and cost effective way of storing the data. 
as it is a magnetic disc that contains to spin platter hdds have higher power consumption and hence are less energy efficient particularly for portable devices if hdd is drawing more power your laptop of battery performance can be reduced i will discuss about the power consumption of hdd and ssds in later on now we will talk about ssds this is how an ssd looks this is the interface this is the case how an ssd looks like now ssds there are many new or versions available in the market the newer versions of ssd is pcie m.2 ssd this is this is the ideal image of pcie m.2 ssd if you want the comparison between m.2 and the generations of ssds please let me know comment below so that i can explain you in the later videos ssds on the other hand use flash memory this is same as your usb drive commonly known as pen drive thumb drive to store the data instead of a spinning disk ssds have no moving parts making them much faster more durable and less such compatible to mechanical failures than hdds features of solid state drive ssds offer much faster data access and transport speed than hdds ssds are smaller and lighter in hdds than hdds making them an ideal option for use in portable devices such as laptops and tablets and your external ssds are also handy it comes in small size compared to hdd ssds consumes less power than hdd making them more energy efficient which inversely increases the laptop battery performance ssds are gradually more expensive than hdds making them less cost effective options for storing large amount of data SSDs have no moving parts making them more durable and less susceptible to mechanical failures than SSDs advantages of SSD they are also significant faster than mechanical counterparts this is the term of booting up transmitting files as well as improving on general performance of any device laptop or desktop bootable time significantly increases when you are using SSDs it takes less time to boot only an ssd laptop can boot in 10 to 12 seconds whereas hdd laptop will take approx 20 to 30 seconds to boot up since there is no moving parts there is low possibility of ssds getting damaged physically as a results are recommendable for using laptops and other portable devices further ssds are less power hungry than ats which is important in increasing battery backup in laptops and decreasing power consumption in desktop disadvantages ssds are still costlier than ssd per unit of capacity while today ssds exist in large capacity it should be noted that when it comes to higher storage capacity ssds are commonly costlier than the hdds as i discussed earlier computer with hdd was painfully slow booting windows took a full 4 minutes normally it takes up to 30 minutes 30 seconds but when in a older laptops it can go up to 1 minute also and chromebook launches in 15 seconds longer than it took our ssd computer startup daily task takes notably noticeably longer on an hdd and the effect on productivity can be massive hdds and hdds comes in different sizes form factors a 3.5 inch serial ata sata mostly used in desktops 2.5 sata mostly used in laptops whereas ssds comes in 2.5 sata m sata m.2 sata m m.2 nvmes as i showed you the earlier image of m.2 nvmes m.2 nvmes get installed directly in the motherboard which increases the transfer rate and it will be more faster compared to ssds and hdds nvme are the advanced technology in ssds for more speed 
As of 2020, SSD started to compete with HDDs. As of January 2024, the large hard drive is of 32 TB. Due to its less cost, it's very common to use HDDs in long storage plans. Mainstream consumer SSDs are capped at 8 TB. Smaller 2.5 inch which is used in laptops are available in up to 2 TB for laptops and 6 TB for external drives. These are the differences between hard disk drive and SSD. I have already come in. As I have already explained, SDD contains moving mechanical parts. SSD doesn't contain any mo moving mechanical parts. SDD takes longer read write time. SSDs take shorter read write time. SDD has higher latency. SSD has low latency. The transfer rate, latency means transfer rate, the speed of the hard disk. SDD supports fewer I/O operations per second. I/O means input output. SSD supports more I/O operations per second due to its speed. SSD is heavier in weight due to the mechanical disk. SSD is lighter as it uses chips to store the data. SSD is large in size. SSD are more compact in size. SSD is less reliable due to possibility of mechanical failure like head crash and suspicious to strong magnets. SSD is more reliable, but in a longer run, SSDs can run up to 10 years. SSDs can go up to five to six years of lifespan. SSD is cheaper per unit storage. SSD is costlier per unit storage. Unit storage means 256 GB. 512, 500, 1TB, 2TB are much more costlier than SDDs. SDD is tried and tested way of storage and it's more reliable. SDDs can provide noise due to mechanical moments but it's negligibly it's negligible. SSD does not produce any noise because it doesn't have any mechanical moving parts. Availability of SDD in a variety of cap capacities. I have already explained. SDD comes with a maximum of 32 TB, and a laptop SSD comes with 6 TB of storage. SDD drives are more established and traditional. SSDs are newer technologies. SDD are more reliable for long-term storage. SSDs are comparatively less reliable for long term storage due to data leak that can occur if kept unpowered for more than a year physically physical data is written on the spinning disk in sdd which makes long term storage possible whereas ssds use power to store the data inside the chips if you are not powering up the ssds for long time can go or it can fail or data loss can happen the data occurrence speed is slow as compared to ssds hdd has fragmentation that's why the performance suffers because of fragmentation fragmentation is like when you are writing data on a disk the data are stored in different places of disk when you are deleting some data some of the space on the disk will be returned and some of the disk some of the space on the disk will be deleted so the fragmentation of data in the disk makes bit slow for accessing the data sdds are suitable for extensive storage long term storage ssds are suitable for fast data retrieval Nowadays, laptops and desktops are coming with SSDs. Laptops are using SSDs because of low power consumption and sizes. As I have already discussed, the average power consumption during read-write tasks will be around 8 to 12 watts. 
of for HDDs and the maximum can go up to 16 watt in sleep or standby mode it will consume 0 0.6 to 1.8 watt a 5400 rpm hard disk can consume 15 to 20 watt for 5 to 10 seconds during startup it will then idle at around 4 to 6 watts whereas SSDs consumes very less power compared to HDDs between 0 0.25 to 2 watts when idle and 4 to 8 watts when reading data and 5 to 8 watts when writing data thus makes more friendly for laptop use to increase the laptop battery performance if you want any more information about SSD and HSD please let me know if you like this video please like the video and let me know if you want me to add some more information in the comment section below thank you